this is a piece that is um, thrown on the wheel and then altered with a slab. The passion for me in pottery comes from probably this mysterious exploration to answer the questions that I couldn't so easily. I learned ceramics in across the United States and in Europe, where I lived for about 10 years in the 90s. And in that uh, continuing of my mentorship in Europe while I was a police officer, I still learned quite a few varieties of the way the clay works. And when I came to settle into a finally um, into a country where I wanted to live and start a family, it was Australia, mainly for those reasons and the quality of life. I stumbled into Surrey Hills mostly by luck, I guess. I just kept eliminating places, uh, but I do live in the area. So when I um, found this place, I think it was probably something beyond the powers of my understanding. Everything about this feels just right. So it's more this place, and it happens to be in Surrey Hills, which is a beautiful, creative uh, community. It's really the people that are coming here that make it what it is. Pottery Shed now is a representation for me of the outcry for what I feel is uh, the need for this particular kind of craft. An opportunity for the individual person to have this experience. And my motivation to do this studio has largely been behind seeing that, uh, that these people have that kind of experience. Sometimes as soon as they touch that clay, when they feel the clay, like the class going on right now, is a, the, the first thing we like to do is just get them to touch the spinning clay. Because it awakens something, and they realize instantly the qualities that will are forthcoming, or the, the opportunities to center yourself, to focus yourself, and to remain focused for a longer period of time, rejecting any other thoughts during that time. I think it's a joke to most people just, just say this is my masterpiece, um, and which is really just uh, a silly diversion. What they're really saying is this is something I've made. This is something that I've given forth. This is something that will last, could last forever because of its material quality. And it's something that I've made and I can, can have contributed that way. This craft has been something overlooked through our culture in taking art to a level that has a status, uh, a, a value, and has been isolated to institutions teaching those arts, but it has left behind a large gap in the actual creation of usable, functional, 
craft utilitarian things. And this is in the, in the combination of bringing people this meditative quality and momentary peace in their life and bringing together the opportunity to have real functional utilitarian artifacts is, uh, is the important part of what I'm doing here.